Right now at Chill Halley Park in East Knoxville, the city is holding a public meeting to talk about the future of that 81 acre site. Specifically, a consulting firm hired by the city is going to reveal its recommendations for the best ways to use the park. We go live now to WBIR 10 News reporter Jim Matheny, where that meeting is just now getting underway. Jim. Hey Robin, well that meeting just started here at Chill Howie Park in the Jacob Building at 6 o'clock and for most of this year, a group has worked to try to figure out ways to make sure that this park with lots of history also has a future. From its start going all the way back to the 1880s, Chill Howie Park has hosted presidents, expositions, burned down, been rebuilt, then held all night disco infernos and golden gloves boxing. Now this 81 acre park is fighting to find ways to remain relevant. And of course I want the park to have a warmer, friendlier, more updated feel. Um, it looks and feels a little outdated now. Zoo Knoxville is on the Chilhawi complex just beside the park and was one of the key contributors to a study by the group CSL. That's who the city hired to get input and figure out the best ways to use this property. Zoo Knoxville CEO Lisa New says whatever this group dreams up, the property will need to solve a long-standing problem with standing water. Stormwater and stormwater issues. We had flooding, significant flooding here. Uh, we had flooding back in February that closed the zoo down. Flooding isn't the only issue with parking. Whether it's a concert, the Tennessee Valley Fair, or another event, sometimes one neighbor can interfere with the ability to park at the other. And develop in a way that allows all of the tenants of Chilhawi Park to grow and to not be uh, necessarily in conflict. New says all these properties are interconnected. When one does well, it helps the others. She says fighting to make Chilhawi Park relevant will help the entire city. This is a prime park and piece of real estate just three and a half, four miles away from downtown Knoxville. And we want people to want to go to school here and work here and live here in East Knoxville. And we're told this group is developing basically two prongs. One is a short-term approach, trying to figure out how to make this place more marketable for the next five years, and then also coming up with those big long-term dreams. We're going to have more specifics for you coming up tonight on the Night Beat, but for now, we'll send it back to you. Looking forward to see what holds the, in their future. All right, Jim, thank you.